All right, Mario Films. You already know, Mario Film Visuals. Back with another interview, man. Been a minute. My fucking brother. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. We out hey, here. we ain't tripping. <laughs> you know, we over here at Miller Beach and shit. So, I want to ask, man, what's been going on, bro? Because you've been putting in a lot of work, man. I know your top artists have been Shaky, uh, EBT Flame. You know, um, who else you been working with? Shaky, EBC, Flame, a new dude named Stefan. Oh, yeah, Vino with, G. Uh, Vino G, you been going crazy on them tracks. Even Kyle don't give a fuck. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been working with so many new artists in general. Right. Trying so, to build them up. Okay, so one thing I want to know, man, let's, let's get to business. The Shaky and Kyle don't give a fuck track. You had a big role in that, man, and you were also in the video. How did that come about? Um, basically, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been doing, well, y'all, we, to start it off, we basically went, went to bro, you know what I'm saying? We did the song one day. We, we decided we gonna shoot the video another day. Uh, we had some females, you know what I'm saying? They was the support, you know, the movement, and, you know, that's how it pretty much came about. It was lit, though. That, we was actually the, like the whole day just chilling. Yeah, we shot a couple videos you know, that day, yeah. Drinking. It was a whole vibe, though. We was really just chilling. It was like Facts. really like some fun shit that day. To yeah, be yeah, decent. Yeah. Wasn't no bad vibes. Right. You didn't have to worry yeah. about nobody Everybody pulling up doing nothing. Chilling, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, mm -hmm. you know. It was all love, though. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now you and Shaky actually have another project you're about to do tomorrow, you know, because you yeah. do all Shaky's videos. Tomorrow uh, he got a feature. Um, with, with some with some um, new rapper, um, then I think we might do a solo. Right. Another one with Vino G's. You know, we right. been going crazy. Okay, yeah, flame, the features. Flame shit was yesterday, him and Loso shit. That shit went crazy. Right, so the features is what I want to talk to you about. Okay, you have FBG Young and you have a couple other guys, you know, when it comes to like major people and shit like that. How does that work? You know, a lot of artists ask you to do their major features. How do you feel about that? Um, uh, that's a good question. I just, whenever, I'm the type, whenever an artist ready, I'm ready. That's how I really been coming so far lately, you know what I'm saying? Right. They be ready, I'll be ready, you know? Okay. Now, Jose Guapo. Yeah. First Jose. Atlanta artist. Yeah, Jose. I don't know why I always call him Joe's Guapo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it working with him? Uh, Jay, shout out Jay Hicks. He another new artist I work with. Both okay. of them really. Uh, it just how how did it come about? Uh, Reggie Baby. Yeah, Reggie Baby hit oh, me yeah. up. Uh, he told me he had an artist and he wanted to work. You know what I'm saying? He he sent him my work and you know what I'm saying he liked it. So that's how we got in tune. I fuck with Jay. This shit, shit. I fuck with him. Okay. Yeah, that was a dope video. Okay. Hey, Cal, he, he is, we both killed that, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Editing the shit like That's that. That's crazy. It's on fish. But, yeah, what oh, you oh, saying? Yeah. Okay. So, now, one thing I want to ask about, you know, when people pay for music videos, um, you know, a lot of times you guys do deposits. You know, every video man does a deposit. You know, yeah. they, that, that secures you and the artist. Yeah. What happens when an artist may want their deposit back? How do you go about handling that? Uh, it just depends, honestly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, it's like if you book somebody and you book them in advance, right? As far as like you, you book them today and you tell them, okay, we're gonna do it next week or the week after that. Um, it's not really a problem. It's just if you book somebody for a day and you keep changing days up and you basically just making it seem like you playing with somebody time so right uh i try to i mean you know you could give them the, you know you go do what it's really up to you, you right know, as the cameraman but as far as that i stay away from artists like that okay know? any i feel like anything unprofessional i try to stay away from that okay now speaking of being unprofessional and shit like that a lot of times these artists are in fucked up situations you know, there's been situations where, you know, violence may erupt at a video shoot or people not showing up right. First of all, I want to ask, how do you feel if an artist needs you to volunteer your car to drive them around and or go pick somebody else up that you have nothing to do with at all? Uh, I, I, it's, that's, that's some uh, artists go through a lot. Uh, 
I feel like that that's part of giving out the details of the video. Right. I feel like with those things, you should let the cameraman know in advance or because mm -hmm. you do this, because you do that. Like, right. For say, some people say, can you get the hotel for the show? It's like, and really a lot of stuff supposed to come in the budget right. as well. So as far as that, I just say um, that's just unprofessional. Right. Right. Okay. Now, what was probably one of the craziest things that happened at a video shoot that you were booked to shoot at? Cause I have a I have a story full of things that I'll uh, probably speak on. It's so much that be happening. Honestly, it's so much that be happening. A lot of stuff that be happening. Uh, uh, anything crazy that happened recently at a video shoot? I don't know. Did I have something crazy that happened recently? Recently? Well, not recently. Recently, but there was a guy that got you know uh robbed at his own shoot and um yeah, talk about that. yeah. but uh uh it's a lot of it's it's you just never know right uh, and that's why you supposed to uh book the video shoot right like details right i don't right. like one thing i don't like is i don't like the parties i don't all oh, like right video, okay okay i don't like parties at video shoots oh yeah they always end up pretty crazy yeah, that's one thing I tell artists to stay away from parties um, at video shoots because right. a lot of times, nine times out of ten, I never had a, a party at a video shoot, right. video shoot party, I should say, that went, like, perfect. I never had one that went 100% smooth. Okay. It's always some, like, it don't be the artist sometimes. It'd be just the people that's around. That's why I try to tell people, like, not to have parties as a video shoot. Okay. So, what are some of the do's and don'ts? If you're an artist, what are some of the do's and don'ts when it comes to hitting up a director? Uh, some of the do's and some of the don'ts. I say, don't book somebody and you want your money back based off the fact that it's not going right for you. Right. Like, if you book someone, it's kind of like when you get your hair done. You don't, okay. or your nails done. Anything you book somebody for, you're supposed to know 100% it's a go. Don't book somebody if you don't know for sure if you gonna have a place to do it at, uh, anything. Like, just don't book them. Right. You know? Don't book them. Oh, okay. And sometimes I tell people you could come to me. They don't want to do that. Right. So another do's and don'ts. Uh, people who want free stuff. If, right. If you want something free, just hit up a cameraman who just now starting out. Right. Like, why not try to build up with that cameraman if you want something for free? That's how okay. I feel. You know, okay. Don'ts, do's, do yeah. Okay. Think of. Okay. Now, how do you feel about artists who may get upset with you later or, you know, decide they're going through something and they tell you they're going to call another cameraman? Like, for example, you know. I got gonna... one. One thing is. I'm not big on photos, doing photo shoots, but a lot of, I, I love my photos too. I'm just more, I just love doing video more. And right. sometimes I do photo shoots and sometimes somebody be like, oh, this ain't how I expected it to come out. I always say my work to people before I even work with them. Right. So I say you probably, whatever you want to do, I say you a gallery of it. Shout out to me, I got a wedding to do this month. Okay. Uh, but it's, photo, it's video, matter of fact. But like, just sometimes it's like, if you know how the person work looks, don't book them if you right. don't like how it look. Okay. Artists who say they're going to, you know, book another camera guy because you won't do their work for free. I get that so much. <laughs> it, it don't even be the free. Sometimes it be um it be people who don't who say, oh, okay, you ain't gonna do the video or <clears throat> I no, even better. Another cameraman with more subscribers than me. Right. It'd be artists who'd be like, oh, I ain't gonna, uh, can we change the date because I got so and so finna do my video? And it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. Like, you could get anybody to shoot your video. Wow. But, <laughs> okay. Eh, are you making seems sense? like a, uh, a shade being thrown at an artist. I don't throw shade. I just <laughs> speak facts. I ain't never been a type. That's one thing about me. Right. I ain't never been the type to throw shade. People throw shade at me, but I don't be caring. I be busy. I don't, I don't throw shade at no artist. Oh, okay. I forgot what I was saying, though. What, what was the question? Uh, artist trying to book another camera oh, yeah. guy. Yeah. 
no, I ain't saying that's just facts. Don't book somebody if you're gonna try to book somebody else based right. off clout. If right. you're gonna book another um, video man because he got more subscribers, that's cool with me, you know. And then it'd be crazy when I'd be like, okay, I'm a because I'm the type I like looking at other people's videos, so I'm gonna wait until the video come out to see how I look. Sometimes <clears throat> the videos never get made. Oh, wow, yeah. But yeah. it ain't got nothing to do with me. I, I like all my clients. I, I fuck with all the people who, who book me. Right. Them the type of people when I'm like up there, I'm always fuck with them based off the fact that they fuck with me back when I was right. at it. Right. And then there's those artists that at least try to offer you something, you know, whether it be, you know, gas money or even something out, over. Shout out to, um, we ain't do the podcast in a while, but shout out to the podcast crew because they show so much love when they book me. Right. They, they, VVS, they sir, us. follow VVS, Apollo, sir. yeah. He, he's on with Young, be going crazy. Right. Um, shout out to all them because they book me and they provide food, flame. Shout out Flame, y, YLS Flame. Right. Man, I love the clients who like, who like really like Vino G. I, I just love, I love my clients to be honest. The ones who book me and they fuck with me, I right. fuck with them. Okay. Yeah. Now I also got to ask about some more fucked up clients who call you last minute you could be laid up sleep laid up with your bitch or whatever the situation is Man, at I something in so the morning much, i had motherfuckers call me like where you at yeah and i'm like i'm at the crib and then they expect like they they be like they think i'm one of these cameramen who just be up on the laptop all day i got shit to do too they be like oh uh come out to shoot this video I'm looking through my schedule like did this nigga. And then they get uh, pissed off know. when when you can't come out. They'll they'll say something, you know. Man, that's why. I mean, a lot of times it's the artists who either got clout or the ones who think they got clout that get mad. It's always the ones that think they got clout. It's the ones who you know? think because sometimes when the artists got clout, they'll be mad. But then they they they'll be off of that. Um, right. Like, yeah, it'd be a lot of that. Okay. Now. One thing I want to know, there's been a lot of collabing lately with a lot of camera guys. We've seen a lot of camera guys do the shooting and another do the editing or another do the editing and people do the effects and shit like that. Right. How do you feel about collabing with camera guys? I know you collab with me a lot. Yeah, um, uh, would you collab with somebody bigger like Cole Bennett or AZ? I definitely a collab. Just a, uh, That's a learning experience. Uh, even with me, I'm the type of cameraman I let I give other cameraman advice. I'm not one of these cameramen who just don't tell people nothing. Like, I mean, I try to because I remember back at a time where I ain't know certain information. Right. And other cameramen wouldn't give it to me. But uh, shout out to all the um, bigger cameramen who give out that information to people who are um, trying to get up there. Right. Okay. If that answer your question. Okay. Now the hoodie thing. Look at that. You fuck with them, don't you? And spiders and shit. Oh yeah, out here with spiders and shit. <laughs> but um, I gotta ask you, man. A lot of people have been asking for copies of them, the hoodies, man. What's going on with that, man? Where, uh, where can we purchase the hoodies at? Uh, I'm over here. But yeah, the hoodies. I'm I'm going I'm gonna make hoodies, shirt. I'm finna get everything situated. I'm really working on my website. Right. Uh, so I could just get people to order it off the website. So I'm really focused on the website right now. I'm trying to. Get into okay. That. Just hit 7K subscribers, so yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do it big, I'm trying to get the website running. Right. Get everybody, you know, hoodies who want hoodies who want to support. Right. Yeah. People be noticing me everywhere. It'd be crazy. I'd be at the gas station. People oh, notice yeah. me. I'd be at uh, certain stores. I could be at the gun store. People would notice me. You know. Right. It'd be crazy. Now I also want to talk to you about artists who are not serious. How do you handle an artist that'll hit you up just cause they may see some like a a dope post or a video and then say yo, and then they don't answer after that, you know? Uh, I try to stay away from the, uh, people I feel like wasting my time. Right. Yeah, I don't like that. And again, they're they're hot because of somebody else, you know. So they just think they're you know again like the artists that think they got clout and right. shit like that. Okay, so now where do you feel, I shouldn't be asking you about this, you know, people don't like talking about their money, but where do you feel you get the most money in, Indiana or Chicago area, Illinois? Uh, Illinois, uh, honestly, I'd say I think more of my fan base have grown into Chicago. At right. the point of time, I was like getting more bookings from Indiana. I still get bookings from Indiana, but uh, 
it just depends on it, it depends on economic I mean uh, what I'm trying to say it depends on the economy too like right. you know what I'm saying some places might make more money than certain places but um, as far as that I just say shout out to both shout out Illinois and Indiana because I do get booking from both and I right. basically you know what I'm saying came up off of both okay out of both now another thing I want to ask you about is getting so much money where you know the cash apps and the situations like that the government may want to know like where you're getting all this money from or some shit like that how do you feel about you know that type of situation because there was a photographer i know that got locked up because of some shit like that they didn't know where her money was supposed to go or how she got it and she wound up getting locked up behind some crazy shit like that. Now, I take a lot of my money up front. I don't do too much cash out. But how do you feel about that, the government and shit like that? Mm, you know, the government, they going to do what they going to do. You know what I'm saying? They already don't like us anyways, honestly. Okay. So, uh, you can't control that. But i say get them deposits. I can't really, I can't really um, say what somebody else went through. Um, that's right. unfortunate. But i say regardless... I say you gotta just move smarter, but uh, you could always, cause this is technically could be your hobby, so you could get a job too. Uh, right. So it could be like freelance. Uh, I say don't focus on that. Uh, make sure you get deposits. I feel like that's more important, cause you don't want to get scammed. I don't know video. I remember back when I was younger, I used to do videos. Uh, I was like 14. I used to do videos right. for artists. They ain't want to use to pay afterwards, and I'm be mad because I'm like, I just wasted my time recording. Like, it'd be all that. So I say, get them deposits. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even it ain't got to be through the apps. It could be other ways you could get it through. Uh, you could get it's Walmart to Walmart nowadays. It's, oh yeah. Pay, it's uh PayPal, Western not, Union. Not not the apps. It's um check checking the cash. Like, okay. You could um do it other ways, but. Um, yeah, I say that. Just find other ways to get it. Don't, don't be going out doing videos for people you don't know, and yeah, don't do that. Okay. Okay. Now it looks like you and FBG Dutchie are starting to do a lot of shit together yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we going. Crazy What's going now. on with that, bro? Man, uh, basically, it's kind of like the cash thing. We trying to get into that. With okay. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash like, kept you busy. Yeah, going crazy like every week. We trying to, we trying to really put. I'm trying to really get him to record more. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get. Him. He just dropped the tape. Shout out Dutchy. Uh, go get that tape. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to get him to record more and put himself out there more because he got the talent. We just, we just got. You just got to push. Right. Okay. So you got Vino G. You got FBG Dutchy. You got Shaky. You got. Um, got you, you got FBG Cash, YSL, YLS Flame. Yeah. You know who else you got? Stefan, I just did his video, just drop. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've been recently. I've been going crazy with kind of like um, the same amount of people, same amount of artists, but. Okay. Yeah, I got I got some people who are um, in the works of working with me. Right. Yeah. Okay, definitely, definitely. Shout out A Dot, A Dot. He's one of them artists who, who. Um, Okay, definitely. Well, yeah. Um, now, another thing people want to ask, you know, oh, no. every. Okay, so now since the year's starting and everything, ending. since the year's ending and everything, mm -hmm. how do you feel now? What's what do you plan on doing next? Ooh, well, I got planned next. I'm trying to uh, really right now. I'm trying to get new feels to the video, like new energy. It's like a whole new Mario film, like on some, you know, not to be on like some lame, you know what I'm saying? You know how Dragon Ball Z, it'd be like oh, yeah. the Super Saiyans, you know? It's like I'm getting into that zone, like I'm I'm turning up. And that's how I feel right now. Okay. Shout out Jay Slutty. He 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 one of the artists I just worked with. He the co comedian. Uh, we went crazy with that vibe. Yeah, that was a hit. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Shout out Jay. Okay, so where to find you at on social media if people want to reach out? Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, Amario Film Visuals. That's the fan page. Uh, Twitter, at Amario Film. Um, Instagram, my fan page, Amario Film. My, uh, my regular page, both really fan pages, I guess, but boss underscore Mario. Okay. Website coming school soon. Amario Film Visuals, you know. Right. It might just be AmarioFilm.com, though. I'm, I'm, 
I'm still working on it. I got the, uh, what they call it, the domain already, so I might just keep it as MarioFilm.com. You know, I own, I own that. All right. Yeah. All right, decent. Thanks for the interview, bro. Yeah.